Hello everyone, welcome to Helpful Solution Tutorial and welcome to our tutorial about Aweber, a simple yet powerful tool for email marketing. Think of Aweber as your helping hand in reaching out to your audience and clients through emails that grab their attention. So whether you're running a small business, blogging or just trying to share your ideas, Aweber make it easy to send beautiful emails, set up automated messages and see how well your emails are doing. We are going to show you how to start using Aweber from setting up your account to creating your first email. You'll learn how to manage your email list, design great looking emails and understand what your audience likes. So let's dive in and discover how Aweber can help you connect with people and share your message more effectively. So as I said, the first thing that we'll need to do is to go to the official website of Aweber. Now after that, to get started, you click on get Aweber free. So click on it. After that, you will be uh, asked to sign up and that by adding your uh, uh, name and your uh, last name and then you'll have to add your email uh, address. So write it right here. Let's write our address and then you click on start growing today. So they'll ask you to answer this security question for confirming that you're human and just like that. Uh, you'll have to uh, log in now to your email uh, address. So they sent you an email, you'll have to link your account with it. So here you go to your email address, uh, look for the email that they send you and you'll be able to link your account with Aweber. So this is the email address, let's click on it. And now let's click on get started. And here you add your password. So add a strong password and then you click on save password. It is added right here. So after that, they will ask you to uh, propose a plan or to choose a plan. So they have many plans to choose. So the first plan is the free plan. So no credit card is required. You can use it for free and you have some features such as you have up to 500 subscribers, one email list, one landing page, one email automation, one user and basic email support. And for the next plan, which is a, uh, a light plan. So we have all those features in the free plan. Plus you can have one custom uh, segment, 24 seven support and advanced message analytic. And for the best plan or the express plan, which is the plus plan, you'll have every feature. So add into those features in the free plan, uh, in the second plan, you'll have uh, advanced landing page features, sales tracking and low transactions fees. And you can remove Aweber branding. Now let's uh, click on the free plan to check the basic, uh, uh, how we say that, the basic features that you'll need. So here, as you can see, they will ask you to add the, uh, to add the company name right here. Now you can add the website to your company. Let's just say, for example, modi.com. And now you add the industry. So what are you working for? Let's say art and music. Now here they will ask you uh, from where did you heard about the application or have you ever heard about it? Now click on continue. You'll have to add your uh, address. So add your address, add the city, uh, the state. And just like that, we are in our dashboard. So as you can see here, this is your company name or the list of your uh, emails and the list. So you can create a new list. This is our first list. You can create a new list. You can manage your list. You can upgrade to another plan. Here you have your quick, uh, quick menu, sorry. We have the messages. So now click in here, you can see all messages, the draft, the broadcast, the split test, email template manager. And here, sorry, we have the automation. So we have the campaign, the list automation. Uh, we have also subscribers. So you can see subscribers. You can add the subscriber, import history, and you have subscribers tool. We have page and form. So you can see your landing page, sign up forms. Here we have list options. So we have the setting, the tags, the customer fields, and we have the web push and the reports. For the reports, we have reports and tracking and we have integration and a help center. Now, this is our main uh, dashboard. So here you can see all your campaigns, the draft campaign, active ones, and the past campaigns. Now, what we're gonna do, the first thing is click on quick menu. So here you can click on go to dashboard. You'll be taken to your dashboard. So you can uh, uh, follow the steps. So you can publish your pre-built signup page. So let's click, for example, on publish. And here you can just edit it. You click on edit the page. 
So as I said, you can edit this, you can add a text, an image, a video, a button, etc. And this is the preview of uh, the page. So it's going to be looking like this. So now let's go back to editor right here. When you finish, you just click on uh, save. When you finish, you just go back right here and you can add the page. So you click on uh, this one. So this is your page. Now what you need to do, you click on publish the page and it will be published. So you can use this link to your Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter or X, etc. Click on them. So this is how you create your first landing page. Now clicking again here, you can go to messages. You can create a message. So let's create a message, for example. So this is uh, uh, where you can edit or add a message. So here is the message. So for example, you just delay this one and you start writing the message right here. You have the title for the message. You can add a photo, a video, a button. You can add social media links, etc. So if you want to add social media links, you just click on this one and you put it right here. And now they will ask you to add the link uh, to your social media. So this is where you can put the link. Now again, let's go back here to our main dashboard. So as I said, this is how you create a message. Now you can also click on here, create a message. So you can create it directly by smart designer, plain text, etc. You can see the draft messages, broadcast, you can split test. So you can have many messages, once for test and one for uh, your uh, real client. So this is the automation. So you can have a list of automation. You click on list of automations and you'll have to upgrade to a paid plan to use this tool. So you'll have a list of automated messages that you can send directly to your email listing. Now here you have your subscriber. So you can uh, add a subscriber and that by looking for an option. So for example, let's look for their email. And here you can filter by, uh, for example, the email doesn't contain a letter like the M letter. If you click on search, I won't be showing uh, right here. It will be shown right here. Sorry. Now here you can see your current subscribers and you can add a subscriber. You click on add subscriber, add a subscriber. What you need to do is to provide the name and the email address of the subscriber. So you click here on the name and you add the email address and you can add a tracking ad. And here you can add the tags. So you can add subscribers, for example, for marketing teams, for uh, music teams, etc. It depends on your needs. So you can use tags to uh, organize your list of subscribers. Now this is the page and form. So as I said, the landing page, the sign up forms, and here the list options. So you can add the tags as I told you before. Now, those were the most important features here. It is really simple to use. You just create things and you share the links to your social media so people can use it. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time.